Hey, what's up, guys? Franco here with Next Level Ball Player. Today we are joined by Coach Durva from the University of Maine. Uh, if you're a hitter out there, then today's interview is for you. If you've ever wondered what college coaches look for and how they evaluate you when you're in the batter's box, well, today Coach Durba digs into exactly what he looks for and how you can stand out uh, as a hitter in the recruiting process. Also, be sure to stay tuned for the end when he talks about grades, which, as we all know, is very important, but doesn't hurt to hear it one more time. Let's, let's talk from the recruiting perspective when you're looking at high school hitters. Uh, what are some things that stand out and what are you looking for right off the bat? Uh, so for me, I'm a big proponent of the leg kick. Uh, so the gather in itself and when, when you're getting ready, your timing, your ability to just get on time and, and see the baseball. Um, and see, I mean in relation to the, your, actually how you're gathering and being able to hang a little bit longer. Yeah. Uh, so that for me is a really big part. If you show me an ability to be able to sit sit back and you know consistently take good swings you know you're a guy for me um, believe it or not uh, I notice your your body presence in the mount in the, in the box uh, that's something that for me if you look like you can handle the bat <laughs> or you look like a hitter yep. you're probably a hitter now I don't mean by looking like a hitter having all the guard all guards on the leg guards <laughs> I mean if, if there's a certain thing that people have yep. that they can handle the bat and they get in the box they look confident they look like they're ready to go and uh, for lack of better words, they look mean. Yeah, mindset and body language is huge, huge. huge. And a lot of younger players, they don't aren't they aren't aware of what they're you know protruding to the to the world. But that stuff matters, and you're not the first college coach to, <laughs> to say that on camera. So pay attention, guys. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to your recruiting classes, uh, what percentage are you guys? Uh, obviously, it varies. But what percentage is early recruiting, signing early signing period in November, and what percentage are you filling in the gaps after that in April? Uh, we had a very high one this past year, uh, our 2016s. We had you know nearly the entire class was signed in November, which is you know actually probably pretty late considering how you know some some schools were operating. But um, you know we're we're still, you know, we're still signing a lot of guys. Uh, I'd probably say somewhere at ninety percent in the early signing period. Our verbal commits, which I think is really important to distinguish, yes. um, we're not necessarily we're not recruiting and getting guys, in, you know, the sophomores and juniors like a lot of other schools are, because frankly, we're just waiting. We want to sit and wait and see some guys develop. Uh, but the majority of our, our of our players will be signed in that early signing period that are out of high school, uh, junior college. We're usually a little bit, little bit later, uh, towards the end of the spring season. Sometimes we're lucky enough that we have a guy we really like that wants to come and play at Maine. Sure. Uh, but for the most part, we're, we're in that November, and then we'll probably take another five, four, three or four kids late in the year. Great. Final question, what piece of advice do you give high school players that want to play at University of Maine or just want to get the coach's attention? Remember that level? you're a student athlete. You're a student first and an athlete second. So grades matter? Do grades, you guys actually look at that stuff? Grades are and uh, grades are not the most important thing. They are uh, ne a necessity. Mm -hmm. So they're not needed. They you know, they are needed. It's not it's not optional yep. um, because especially coming from you know our program, uh, Coach Shrimper is very big on it. We want you guys to leave in four years. If you get to play professional baseball, wonderful. Chances are you're not. And secondly, you have to uh, be a productive citizen. Yeah. So go out in the real world and make Maine pl Maine proud. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. And the uh, players aren't doing you any good if they're ineligible and aren't taking that's care right. of business in the classroom. So uh, thanks a lot for stopping by Absolutely and sharing, for having and sharing me. some insight. Thank you.